Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, and on this channel, we talk about luxury, lifestyle, handbag reviews, and of course, a lot of neutrals. In today's video, I wanted to discuss modern and minimalist luxury brands that I am obsessed with. These brands have amazing ready-to-wear pieces as well as my favorite category of handbags. We'll discuss Celine, Bottega Veneta, Kate, and The Row. I'll make sure to have timestamps below, so let's get started. Starting off with Celine, Celine is known for their effortless and minimalist chic aesthetic. I've always been a big Celine fan, going back to the Phoebe Philo days when she had her luggage tote. In fact, one of my biggest videos on my channel is when I did a handbag review comparing the two sizes in the luggage tote. I'll be sure to link that below. I am loving Edie Slimane's collection. I think it's a fresh take on the brand and exciting. You can see the collection on celebrities like Lady Gaga and Lisa from Blackpink. Recently, I went to Celine inside the Neiman Marcus store in downtown Chicago. The items are simple and classic in design. Even the Triomphe logo is beautifully done. This was inspired by the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. A lot of their bags have more of that vintage feel. When it comes to key items from Celine, I am loving their Celine Triomphe bags as well as the Celine 16. I think the Celine 16 is a little bit more understated because you don't have that gold logo on the front. I really can't decide between the Celine Triomphe or that Celine 16. This is the one occasion where I might actually be convinced to get the black leather with the gold logo. Let me know what you guys think below if you had to pick between the Celine Triumph bag or the Celine 16. Another key item is this beautiful Celine stripe jacket. I could see this being a piece that I would have forever in my closet. I love stripes. It's a piece that you could wear all season long. This is a beautiful piece, and I could see having this in my closet for a long time. I would pair this jacket with some blue jeans and some slingbacks for a chic look. Next up, we have Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta is known for their quality leathers, their craftsmanship, and of course, their signature weave. They don't use any logos or brand names. Matthew Blazy is the creative director of Bottega Veneta. He's the next phase after Daniel Lee. In his last shows, we still see that signature weave with the quality leathers. However, the colors were much more muted and toned down. Instead of seeing that bright green, you saw more muted yellows, lavenders, and whites. My key item when it comes to Bottega Veneta has to go to their beautiful handbags. Now this is my Jody handbag, which I do love, but the one that I have my eye on is the sardine bag. I just think there is something so unique about this handbag. Not only does it have the signature weave, but it has this amazing sardine handle. I tried this on in the Chicago Boutique. They had the crossbody style, as well as the one with the metal handle. I kind of fell in love with more of that top handle. I could easily see me wearing this to dinners. Talk about a total statement bag. I just don't know if it's gonna to be too similar to having the Jody bag and a sardine bag. Granted, the Jody bag is more of a shoulder bag, and the sardine bag I would use more as like a top handle, handheld type of bag. But let me know in the comments below. Kate, established in 2016 by Katherine Holstein. Katherine was named CFDA Women's Wear Designer of the Year. I resonate with women wear designers that have these feminine details. You may see this brand across celebrities, Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber, and Katie Holmes. The Scarlet Cardigan has been making the rounds across social media. Would be a big investment. It's about $1,700. However, I think that would be a quality piece that would last a long time. I'm drawn to this barley brown color as well as the 
more caramel camel color in terms of a bag pick i'm loving the olivia hobo in that beige with the calfskin leather the leather looks so buttery on this handbag. What I love about this handbag, it has a nice balance between simplicity and chic. Plus, the price point on it is $1,600. When you compare to other bags or perhaps even other hobo bags, that's a pretty decent price point because this bag now is like closer to like, like $45,000, $4,000. Last up, we have the row. Founded in 2001 by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, the Olsen twins. This brand is all about the material, the finish, the cut, all top notch. The item that I'm obsessing over is their strappy sandals. Granted, it's spring summer season here upon us in Chicago, but I think this has a nice heel height and I love how it's more that slingback style. There's not a lot going on, hence, you know, it's a perfect row sandal, but the quality, that would be the perfect type of sandal to hit the season. Another handbag favorite is the Margot bag. I think this is an amazing work bag that I could definitely see wearing to the office it's just when you have that top handle. I don't know at times, I like to have a shoulder bag, but of course that leather with the understayed style is so beautifully made. It's a pricey handbag, so it is one that I would have to be very thoughtful if that makes sense for my curated collection. But those are the two bags, I would say, between the Hobo bag and the Margot bag. Okay guys, well let me know what was your favorite among these designers. I love to hear it in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care guys.